what are you guys doing? Uh, we're moving out in there, and, and the me and Isaac are the mom and dad, and this is our baby named. What? And we're going to come back in the house for like chores, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All and right. we'll sleep out here because I'm going to work on a little log cabin. Oh, how cute. Okay, well, you guys have fun. Thanks okay. for we're visiting. Moving. Yep, have a good move. If we'll you need any help, let us know. four times a day. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Oh, bye. I thought we were going to have to wait till they were like 18 or 19 and push them out the door, but we'll take this. So I heard the kids moved out this morning. Poor Laura has like been sitting at the window like, oh my gosh, I want to go too. Would you want to go too? <laughs> yeah. It's wet out here. It started drizzling, but the fort that the kids are in actually has really good cover from the rain and it's just drizzling, so. Guys, how's it going? Baby's sleeping right now and you're the grandma. We even oh. have a bookshelf with three books. Whoa. And we are homeschooled and we teach Caleb a new class. Caleb, are you learning? Yeah. The ABCs and the ABCs. Write an A. And I write one with good. So could help him. Now across. Yay! And, and then Caleb, Did you get it, buddy? This is where our baby sleeps. Okay. And then Oh, your baby sleeps up there. See? Mama. Mama. Hi, baby. Mama. Just, just a note the middle of the night. Mama. Aww. Hey, Cubby, what are you building? I'm building another crib for the baby. You're building a crib for the baby? Well, looks like they've got life covered. I guess I'll just focus on taking care of Laura now. Okay, we'll still have a snack together in 10 minutes. I lured the kids back up to the deck with a snack, and now we're going to have a discussion about weather this morning for part of school. So, guys, do you guys feel the weather? Is it sunny today or cloudy? Cloudy. Why do clouds rain? Because it's good when it for gets trees. Big. When it gets too big and it's the rain is good for the trees. And flowers and grass. What are we even going to do? Well, this is the cloud. So the water comes from the ground and the lakes and the oceans and it evaporates up into the clouds. And then when the clouds get too heavy, it starts to rain. Okay? So we're going to see if we can get this to start to rain. So when it gets too heavy, you'll see it start raining down. It's getting blue. It's getting... I can see some dripping. What happened? It's raining. Do you guys see it? So when the water gets too heavy in the clouds, that's when it starts to rain down. Oh. So the water evaporates up into the clouds, it condenses in the clouds, and then it precipitates down to the ground. But it, the water is blue. Now the water is blue, huh? All right, another homeschool perk is doing school outside. Today we're doing school out on the deck. So... The kids are working on their water cycle worksheets. <laughs> there it is. I think that's Laura's first work of art, guys. Yeah. Caleb, how's yours coming? Good. Good? I like that sun. Okay, we decided to head into the library. We're going to try to find some fun books about weather and, you know, just some other books. The library is always a good start to the week. So the library has these computers and it's always so hard because my kids don't get to play on computers much so they're always like super excited to play on the computer and anyway it drives me kind of crazy. So I'm really excited they've got extra toys over here and I'm trying to lure the kids to play over here instead of just playing on the computer. Lizzy, what is this? Together. They suction together. Yeah, they suction. Ooh, that is cool. What a fun toy. Caleb, what are you up to? You're gonna do some puzzles? 
So I've been totally slacking in the meal planning department for the last couple of weeks. I just have been kind of throwing stuff together last minute and forgetting to get started early enough. And so today I was so excited because I'm actually already have started our dinner. We are having chicken fajita chili and I put it in the crock pot this morning. Let me show it to you. It's a uh, well on its way. So it's got lots of peppers and tomatoes and some chicken and seasonings and it called for one can of cannelloni beans. I hope I said that right. Anyway, I decided to add two extra cans of beans. I added a can of black beans and a can of kidney beans, and that's because I'm hoping to stretch the meal a little bit further. I would love to have leftovers. It's really healthy, and I figure the beans are a budget-friendly, healthy way to try to stretch the meal a little bit further. So I was going to make rice to go with this, like that we're gonna serve it on top of some rice, but we had rice for dinner last night, and I wasn't really feeling rice again. So I decided I'm gonna do quinoa in my rice cooker. I've heard of that working before. So I've got some quinoa that I bought at Sprouts in the bulk food section, and I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know how it turns out. But, yeah. My rice cooker is my friend, so this will hopefully be good. So in the last two weeks, I have gained five pounds, which is not good for the diet bed. I only have two weeks until the weigh-in, and I have to obviously lose that weight and then some more. But what happened was at work, they kept giving all this free food. Like they brought in Olive Garden, which we ate for like two or three days. And then my legal assistant had a birthday and they had Cheesecake Factory cheesecake there for three days. And all these cookies and free food is so hard for me not to partake of, especially when it's Cheesecake Factory and Olive Garden and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm working on it. I'm so grateful for Kendra. She was consciously thinking of me in uh, trying to prepare food that is helping me out. All right, so here's the finished um, quinoa chicken fajita chili bowl with cheese and avocado and tomatoes. What do you think, Isaac? This is really good. I mean, yeah, yummy. Like yummy. it's just really flavorful and healthy. Yay! Those pods, which ones do you think are the most strong pods? I just saw lightning. I just saw lightning. Hi, big girl. How are you? With all of Kendra's teaching about the clouds, she's out here after dinner. The kids are getting in their pajamas and she's talking to them about the clouds. Look at those clouds over there. Growing up, my dad loved big thunderstorms and rain clouds, and so our family's tradition during thunderstorms was to turn off all the lights and to open up the windows wide or like open up the garage door and sit on the top of the car and like watch the rain. And we'd often like have hot chocolate or something, and so it's like a really cozy thing for me. Like it kind of like calms down life, and I don't know, I just really love rainstorms. Hope you guys are having a good night. Thanks for watching, and uh, Jay House out.